Hello, here's a new one for stylized sculpting with Blender 3. I posted an image of this piece here that I created, and now we'll show you the basic technique using a simple model. So we start here with the default cube, yes we can keep it, and the first thing I do is to move it a bit upwards in object mode. I snap the view, and then I hold the control key pressed while I move the object upwards using the move tool. Ok, now we can tap into edit mode, you see we are creating here the base mesh, a very simple one for a stone pillar. I move this face downwards again using the move tool, and then I use the tool insert faces to add an insert here. Ok, this face we can move again a bit to the upside to create a kind of beveled shape. Very easy, and after that we can extrude this face to the upside along the z-axis and of course for this I'm using the extrude tool. Ok, perhaps it's a bit too short. Alright, I think we can go with that for the base mesh. Ok, now go to sculpt mode. And I'm going to remesh it using the voxel remesher to increase the resolution. So press Shift and R, then you can define the resolution. And I think this is dense enough, and then I press Ctrl and the R key to remesh. Alright, and switching to edit mode, you see the resolution is pretty dense. Ok, now we can go ahead and sculpt in damages, cracks and stylized edges using default brushes. I'll speed this up a bit and from time to time I will explain the technique. In the viewport shading I will use a matte cap and I'll also enable the cavity. Ok, so let's start the sculpting process. For larger damages, you can use an inverted clay strips brush. I'm using a tablet and I highly recommend it because of the pressure sensitivity. Now I add some cracks and for this I use the draw sharp brush. With the scrape brush you can emphasize the edges for the cracks. And of course it is also great for all stylized edges.
Now I'll remesh again to increase the voxel resolution. And then I come with a pinch brush to make the edges look more crisp. With a higher resolution, I'm adding again more details using the clay strips. Okay, that's basically it. Now I increase the ridge and the valley here in the viewport shading for a nicer look and feel and I also enable the shadows. You see, this is a simple model, but these are the main techniques that are also used for more complex models. Okay guys, I really hope you liked this short tutorial. If you do, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, add these to the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. Support me by becoming my patron or join here as a channel member. This would be great. See you soon on JNM.